greetings in Jesus name um, I hope you all are doing well I hope you all are doing fine I hope you all are staying covered under the blood of Jesus join me as we continue to give God praise and thanks for all that he's doing all that he's keeping our family throughout this season throughout these times that we're experiencing you know I know you all are accustomed to seeing your friends and going to church and going to Sunday school but right now we are unable to do that so for now you all can join with me as we sing unto our Lord right so let's go. Two, three. Read your Bible, pray every day. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day. And you grow, grow, grow. And you grow, grow, grow. And you grow, grow, grow. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you grow, grow, grow. But neglect your Bible, forget to pray, forget to pray, forget to pray. Neglect your Bible, forget to pray, and you shrink, shrink, shrink. And you shrink, shrink, shrink. And you shrink. Shrink, shrink, neglect your Bible, forget to pray, and you shrink, shrink, shrink. So remember to always read your Bible and to always pray. Pray every day so that you can grow in your faith, right? Very good. Right. So the next song we're going to sing is not a strange song. I know every single one of you know it. Right, so the next song we want to do is Yes, Jesus Loves Me. Now, I know you're probably hearing this song since you're a baby, 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 but it is so fitting, and we need to remember and understand that Jesus loves us no matter what, no matter who, no matter where. Jesus loves us, right? So, we just want to sing that today, all right? So, let's go two, three. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. One more time. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. boys and girls and how are you all doing today i really hope that you are doing fine i am certainly missing every single one of you and i hope that you are enjoying these videos and lessons that we are preparing for you now for today's lesson we are going to learn about something really really exciting but also very serious and important but before we do that i want you to put on your thinking caps and answer the following question. What are some things that your parents might tell you not to do? Should you talk to strangers? No. Should you fight or use bad words? No. And do you take care of your things or should you destroy them? That's right, take care of your things. Now, why would your parents tell you these things? Hmm. It's because they want to protect you from danger. 
They also want you to be a kind person to others. And then lastly, they want you to have nice things for a very long time. So, do you think your parents have your best interests at heart? Of course they do. Boys and girls, why would your parents tell you these things? Yes, it's because they want to protect you from danger, they want you to be kind to others, and they also want you to have things for a very long time. Don't you think your parents have your best interests at heart? I'm sure they do. Now, last week we learned how God made a way for Moses and the Israelites through the Red Sea. He made a way where there seemed to be no way. Today, we are going to learn about God's law and how he wants us to treat him and treat others. Now, it's been three months since the Israelites left Egypt and crossed the Red Sea. They decided to set up a camp at the foot of a mountain called Mount Sinai. Then, God called Moses from the mountain and Moses went to meet him. God used this time to remind Moses how he freed the Israelites from Pharaoh and how the plagues demonstrated his mighty power. He told Moses to have the people cleanse themselves and be ready because in three days the Lord will come down onto the mountain. The people should not attempt to go up or even touch the mountain. So the third day came and there was thunder and lightning with a loud trumpet blast. The whole mountain was covered with a thick cloud of smoke because the Lord came down on it with a fire. The whole mountain trembled and the people were greatly afraid. No one was allowed to go to the mountain except Moses. It was then that God gave Moses the Ten Commandments to tell the Israelites. A commandment is simply a rule given by God. I'm sure many of you all know some rules. For example, wash your hands before you eat. This to protect us from germs and from getting <coughs> sick. In the same way, the Ten Commandments, also known as God's law, helps us to live a happy life and also protects us from danger and from suffering. Now, God used two large stones called tablets and wrote the Ten Commandments on them for Moses. These are the Ten Commandments that God gave Moses to give to the Israelites. Commandment number one, thou shalt have no other gods before me, which means put God first. Number two, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in a heaven above, which means do not worship false gods or idols. Number three, Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, which means respect God's name. Number four, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy, which means to respect God's day of rest. Number five, honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God Give it to thee, which means respect your parents. Number six, thou shalt not kill, which means do not kill or hurt anyone. Number seven, thou shalt not commit adultery, which means respect marriage promises. Number eight, thou shalt not steal, which means do not steal. Number nine, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor, which means do not tell lies or be dishonest. And number ten, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, which means do not be jealous or envious of what others have. Sounds like a lot of rules, right? But with all these rules, we would live a sinful life and God does not like sin. If we have sin in our lives, we cannot go to heaven. Sometimes people believe 
They are going to heaven just because they haven't broken any of the commandments. But the truth is, boys and girls, they probably have. Using the name of the Lord in, in the wrong way, desiring to have what someone else may have, making fun of our parents in front of our friends, and lying are all breaking one of the commandments. Unfortunately, we have broken at least one, even myself. But do not worry. Remember when we said that God is omniscient, meaning he's all-knowing? Right. God knew that we would not be able to keep his commandments all the time. And because he loves us so, so much, he sent his only son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins. All we need to do is confess our sins to him and ask him to forgive us. We always have to have faith in Jesus for this to work. So boys and girls, why do you think you shall have no other gods before me is the first commandment. God wants us to put him above all things, before our toys, before the television, even before our friends. What does you shall not misuse the name of the Lord mean? The Lord is holy. Using his name in an unholy or wrong manner brings judgment to that person. God doesn't like it. What is an idol, you may ask? Anything that keeps you from spending true time with God is an idol. It can be your television, it can be your schoolwork, it can even be a person. Anything that comes between you and God can become an idol. Lastly, honor your father and mother must be important, right? Because it's on the list. Why is that? Parents always want what's best for their children, so they teach and guide them. Children are still learning and really don't know everything yet. So boys and girls, we learned a couple of things today. The commandments are God's laws or rules. God gave Moses these rules so that we can live a happy life and it also protects us from danger or suffering. Even though we may break commandment, God still loves us. And he sent Jesus to die for our sins. We must confess when we sin and ask God to forgive us. God's law teaches us how to treat him and how to treat others. Our scripture verse from today is taken from Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 33. And it says, Walk in obedience to all that the Lord your God has commanded you so that you may live and prosper and prolong your days in the land that you will. Now repeat after me. Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 33. Walk in obedience to all that the Lord your God has commanded you so that you may live and prosper and prolong your days in the land that you will. Very good. So keep repeating this scripture verse until you remember it. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed your lesson today. So for our craft time, we're going to be making our very own Ten Commandments. Don't you like it? <laughs> so stay tuned to see what you will need to make this simple but fun craft. For this craft, you will need the following items. Some paper glue, a pair of scissors, some markers, a few sheets of construction paper, and one roll of Bristol board. So firstly, you're going to take a bristle board and fold it in half. Trace the line like that and then using your scissors, cut along the folded line. 
Now remember boys and girls, if you are too young to use a scissors, make sure you ask your mommy or daddy to help you. If you are old enough, make sure that someone is around to supervise you. So we're going to begin cutting our bristle board. one piece of the bristle board because we only need one side for this scrap. Now take the bristle board and place it flat on your table and I'm gonna fold it again in half like this. Alright next we're gonna take Open it back up and take this side and carry it to the part where you fold it at the center, like that. Repeat this step with the other side. Great. So when you are finished, it should look something like this. If you want to be creative, you can take a pencil or a marker and draw a line on the top of the paper to make, to resemble our stones. Next, we're going to take our construction paper and begin folding it in half like this. Repeat this step again in half like that and one last fold in half again like that right so you should have when you're finished folding eight squares let's count one two three four five six seven eight now we have ten commandments so you will need another sheet of construction paper and repeat that same step once you're finished folding your paper, ask an adult if you're too young to use a scissors or if you're old enough with adult supervision, begin cutting along the folded parts of the paper. Like this. cut your lines as straight as possible it's okay if you make a mistake but do try your best gonna fold my sheet one more time to get my two extra pieces of paper So we should have now 10 pieces. Let's count one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Now that we have our construction paper cut, we're gonna start folding them. So we're gonna repeat the same steps that we did when we folded our bristle board. So we're gonna fold it in half. And then we're going to 
open it back up and take the outer edge, place it to the center, and repeat with the other side. Right? So it should be like this again. When you're finished, fold it back in half. And then take your scissors again and ground off the top like that. Make sure that you ask your parents to help you with that step. So it will be like this. Alright, so we're going to continue doing this for the rest of our paper. Table, it will show. Doing any makeup for us, I'll be a model. Alright boys and girls, so now that we have cut out our paper here, we're going to take our marker, you can use any color you like, I will go with probably a green and a blue, probably a purple, 
and we're gonna take our time and write out the commandments on the inside of the paper now when you fold it like that we're gonna write the number of the commandment so let me show you so on the outside I'm going to write the number one And the first commandment is put God first. So we're going to close like this and when we open it up, put God first. Right? Now we're going to move on to the next commandment. Okay, it's a different color for this one. So number two. It says do not worship any false gods or idols. So we will just say no idols. Remember an idol can be anything that comes between you and God. So the commandment again. Number three. Respect God's name or do not take the name of the Lord in vain. So we use it out of respect for God because he's a holy God. Respect God's name. I'm feeling to use all the colors, right? So I'll just go and use some more now. So number four is to remember the Sabbath, which means to remember God's day of rest. Respect fifth commandment is honor your father and your mother so we are going to put respect your parents that's number five number six Do not kill, which means do not kill or hurt anyone. So do not kill or hurt people. Number seven. Do not commit adultery or respect marriage promises. So respect marriage promises. Number eight, thou shalt not steal, do not steal. Almost there. Number nine, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor, which simply means do not tell lies. So don't tell lies is number nine. Number ten. Do not cover thy neighbor's house, which simply means don't get jealous or envious of what other people may have. So let's write. Don't 
be jealous or envious of what others have. Great. So I finished with this step. Okay, boys and girls, we're almost there. We're going to take our bristle board and we cut out and open it up. And then we're going to be taking our Ten Commandments and using some glue, we're going to stick them on the inside of our tablet. Right? So make sure you fold your commandment like this so that the number is on the front and the words are on the inside. And you're going to put glue on this side of the paper all right so i'm just using a, a palette stick to help me spread the glue evenly like this now here's a fun thing that you might not know if you don't have glue you can always ask your mommy or daddy to mix some flour and water together and you can use it as glue. Trust me, it works. So we're going to continue sticking each one to cover the entire thing. Now make sure and do it in order, okay? So one, two, three, or one, two, three. All right? boys and girls so when you are finished it should look something like this 
I think I did a good job. What do you think? All right, so we're gonna fold it now in like that. So you're gonna have it outside like this. And taking a marker, you're gonna write the 10 commandments, okay? Like this. Now on the inside, we're going to write our scripture verse at the bottom over here. So remember our scripture verse for this week is Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 33 which says, Walk in obedience to all that the Lord has commanded you so that you may live and prosper and prolong your days in the land that you will. So if it's too long, you can just write Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 33. Walk in obedience to all that the Lord has commanded you. So I'm going to write it. Great. So if you have some glitter dust or anything that you want to stick to decorate your commandments, go ahead. When you're finished, put it somewhere that you can see it, probably on a shelf, next to your bed, so that every day you can see the Ten Commandments and be reminded of what God commanded us to do. All right. Hope you all enjoy this craft, boys and girls. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. I hope you stay in a good state. I hope you continue to stay with your families, listen to your parents. And I hope that God continues to keep you, keep you and your families and cover you all under his precious blood. All right? Bye for now.